everyone! Hello! We would like to talk about some of our favorite sci-fi covers. Yeah. We love cover art. Yeah. And we like to look at the beautiful art that depicts the wonderful stories within its pages. Yeah. I typically try not to cover by. Right. But while looking at these, yeah. I totally wanted to cover by. Right. So bad. So we have a bunch of well-known books. Yeah, we do. But maybe some not as well-known covers. Yeah. That just, we just yeah. want to be like, look at this. Isn't it pretty? Feast your eyes. And that's what this whole video is about. Basically, yeah. But the first one um, that we want like to talk about is a book that has not been released yet. Yeah. But it does have a release date. Yeah, it does. Which is, I believe, July of this year. <sighs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Still so far away. I know. I'm. Su we're super, super excited about it. Yeah, we're probably gonna pre-order it. So I would like to. And that is the U.S. cover of A Record of a Spaceborn Few by Becky Chambers. It's my favorite of all of the covers. Yeah, I would agree. I'm. I already liked the U.S. cover. Mm -hmm. I think. You liked the um, I like UK the covers UK best, covers best, which is fine. Um, but I love how they added the galaxy yeah. to the U.S. cover, and it yeah. just made it perfect. I do too, and I think the U.S. covers do have a lot more dynamics mm. than the U.K. covers because they're yeah. all kind of the same. Of like, here's a hill and a silhouette of a person and the galaxy. The I UK love the cover. covers mm -hmm. and the galaxy part of it. Yeah. But the US covers are a little more, you know, different and I like that. Yeah. And it is really really gorgeous. I love I love the one that's going to come out. <sighs> and we're going to I'm going to pre-order it cuz I just need to read it. ASAP. We pre-ordered the second one. We too. did. It was the first if, one we ordered. If you don't know, this is the third in the Wayfarer series. Yes. Long yeah. Way to a Small Green Planet, A Close yeah. in Common Orbit. Right. <sighs> and now a record of a space born fuse. So <gasps> Hopefully you have feasted your eyes on this beautiful cover. Yes. I'm super excited. Me too. I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. Me too. The second book that we are going to talk about today is Fahrenheit 451. Yay. We recently just hauled Ray Bradbury's book. Fahrenheit <laughs> 451. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. we, we're a mess. Sorry, guys. We're going to read it because um, it, HBO, HBO is making a... I'm, I, a I'm not sure if it's a, a movie series. or a TV series. Yeah. But it looks cool. And we're gonna read it. Yeah, we are. Oh, well, why don't we show you the cover we have just because oh, we're talking yeah. about covers? It still has the sticker on the front. Mm -hmm. That's the cover that we have. Which is cool. It is cool. I, I do like this cover a lot. I Yes, very much. So the cover that we want you to see is um, the authorized adaptation by Tim Hamilton, published in 2009 by Hill and Wang. And I just. This one, this cover is so. Not to use this word again, but dynamic. It's just <laughs> so cool. I really love the back, black background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how it just makes those fiery colors. Yeah, really pop out. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah, just, it's, it's very beautiful, even though it's a picture of books burning. Yeah. Which is not good. No. I'm excited but to But it's read a beautiful it. cover. I am too. I haven't read it since high school. And I remember really, really enjoying it in high school, so I'm anxious to read it again. Awesome. Yay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, we talked about The Handmaid's Tale yeah. in one of our videos, mm -hmm. and I was looking up Handmaid's Tale covers to put on the screen, um, because we didn't have it with us, or for some, whatever reason, right. and I found this really beautiful cover. <sighs> Is it a, it's a UK, it's edition UK edition that came out in 2016, and it just... It's gorgeous. You can get it on Book Depository. For $10.97. Yeah. yeah. And it's so tempting, but I already own it. I don't need it. You don't need that cover. I don't need that cover. You know, I don't own it. I'll give you mine and I'll order this one. Ew, that's rude. <laughs> I have the classic cover of yeah. it, you know? Mm -hmm. But this cover is just so gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. I love that cover. It's... I love ugh. the flowers and... I do too. And I really like that it's... On her, yeah. you know, it's mm -hmm. just the grays and the reds just are so, mm. yeah, yeah. I love it's it. Great. I okay. Too. Alrighty. So um, the last two that we have are Barnes and Nobles editions. They're like the collectible editions, right? That are gorgeous. I'm sure everybody's probably seen them by now. Yeah. <sighs> you can, can look just, up videos oh of people God. showing them off and like in books. 
has a huge Barnes and Noble um, collector's, collector's edition, edition of books, and I'll link her videos down mm. below where she just like flips through them. And the uh -huh. gorgeous, even the and end the music pages. is just so soft and will lull your children to sleep. Hey, that's nice. That's actually happened. So okay. anyway, <laughs> the two that we're talking about, first of all, is oh. Dune. Here it is. It's gorgeous, though. And it's hard to find pictures that do these books justice because yeah. they're that metallic-y, reflective right. gold, and it's just really, really pretty. It's got those sandworms on the back. And then we haven't read Dune yet. I own it. Thanks I, to Christina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back when you worked at the bookstore, I yeah. told you to look Keep out. Keep an eye out, yeah. 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 That was a fun job. Yeah. <laughs> I bought a lot of books. <laughs> yeah. So, last one. <gasps> Ooh. This one is probably one of my favorites on this oh, list. Oh, yeah, I like it. We just finished reading A Wrinkle in Time. Yeah, we And did. we were looking up the pictures of Dune. Yes. And came across this absolutely gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous cover. Yeah. Of A Wrinkle in Time. Actually, it's the trilogy, which we find kind of strange because we're pretty sure it's a quartet. Yeah, that quintet. was weird. Quintet, yeah. Quintet. Uh, but anyway, this cover, I absolutely love the colors. I love it. With the blue and the yellow yeah. on it. Yeah. And I love the... Mrs. What's it? Yeah! <laughs> but she doesn't have boobies. I thought she was a man when she turned into that creature. Oh, was she? I missed that part. Mm. Never mind. Anyway, I'm not sure. We're gonna watch the movie. Those wings look in a couple really days, cool too, because like yeah. reflecting rainbows like off of water, kind yeah. of, you know. And I think they did a pretty good interpretation there of think, that, because uh, that would be something very difficult to pull off. It is so. I love it. I do too. I do too. And it's just I all the galaxies that. and the planets. And I stuff. want that real bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's twenty five dollars and it is out of stock. So. Where as well. But feast your eyes. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Mm. So we just wanted to, you know, do a short, nice little video talk about some of our favorite covers. And yeah. I, I think we're going to do this with other genres as well because yeah. this is a lot of fun. It is fun to look at pretty covers. I, I agree. And there's a lot out there. It's... There's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So we're thinking maybe we'll do like fantasy next. Yeah. Fantasy. Oh my gosh. That's going to be hard to only do five in fantasy. Cause yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. <sighs> there are so many fantasy covers that I find absolutely stunning. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I'm excited. Me too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. When you play the game of tones, you read or you die. Come be your friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. I was just holding this pin the whole time. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like I'm hardcore blue. blue. If I was green, I would die. <laughs>